Hi everyone, I hope you're having a great Thursday. I'm continuing the Choctaw series that we've been doing so far this week with a forward, outside, swing or not swing, depending on which way we do it, close Choctaw. Okay, now this is again a fairly complex step. It's lovely in transitions, it looks really pretty, it's a great way to change curve. It also features in some high level dancers, okay, such as the quick step, but mainly we're going to think of it as a transition and a pretty moment. So, this is a closed turn, closed short tour, which means, as we've been discussing all week, the foot goes behind. So, the free foot will come in behind the skating foot for the point of turn. It is a short tour, so we're doing our S curves again. So, we'll have one whole semicircle and then at the axis line it will return back and then go the opposite way to create the S. There is optional free leg lines, as I said we can do it with the swing, as it would be in the quick step, or you can just do it to change feet a little bit quicker without the swing, because it's a little bit tighter and neater. It starts with an outside edge, so and with the same arm as foot in front, and you're going to face out of your circle. The circle's going to stay behind you. So if I take the mat as my semicircle, I'll push out on the outside edge into the skating line with good posture, ribs in, hips under, thumb tall, bend the knee, arm over leg, little bit outward rotation. And that edge would come all the way around the semicircle to the point that I'm facing the other way. So I've come to the axis line. So you can see I move around my mat. From there, I play, bring the foot in behind me into a third or fifth ballet position ideally with that strong rotation, that strong turnout, because it all, again, comes back to that rotation from the hips, turn out the feet almost 180 degrees, so that I can then plie, gentle bend, contract the ribs, and just transition the feet. And because it's the closed turn, we've got that tightness between our thighs there, so we close the window. Okay, so we would take the outside edge, have the circle behind us, arm stay faced out, then I come in, foot behind, rotate, plie, and I literally have to change weight. And now on the I would be on a backwards inside edge, and my circle would be ahead of me. I'm just going to move the mat over ever so slightly, so I stay in the camera shot. So push out, hips under, strong position, face that circle. I can swing through at that point to make it a swing short door, or I can just tuck. But even if I do swing, it's going to come back to that tuck anyway. Plie, and then onto a new circle on the backwards inside edge, it comes away from the mat. The arms don't really move. There might be a little tiny bit of rotation, very subtle, but it shouldn't be a giant twist. And the body, again, shouldn't need to twist. If you've rotated enough and you've turned out and you've got the circle behind you here, when you come through, or you come just in, by the time I change, I'm already in that position with my shoulders and hips aligned and facing in to my new circle for the backwards inside edge. I could finish the backwards inside edge with a swing through and an open up, that looks quite pretty. But again, not essential. I just do it on the other side, same on this foot. Gonna face out the circle on the outside edge, through, 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 through. Then at the end of the circle, Rotate, nice big gap between my knees, uh, hips over knees, toes turn out, plie, point, close my thighs, and I can hold my inside edge with an optional extension of the free leg at the back. 